boys and girls. Today's job, we're fitting this door on these windows at the side, changing all that out, so hope you enjoy. Bay window, that's been sorted. I know that rendering's come off, but it was a bit of an accident, it was already cracked. You can see here as well, there's, there's a crack in the render. But yeah, didn't manage to film it all that because we got stuck in yesterday. Measured it right, 1400, two days up 20. Yep. Love, it come by by so We're normally saying that these have been put in by cowboys, but this one hasn't. Every one of we've taken out has been solidly put in the frame, the door, everything done proper. That's why we're having such a tough time to get it out. We're having to crack the wells to get it out because uh, we don't want to just rip everything out because all this is staying in. Tell you what, you know we're the first to say that when somebody's not put a window in right, but these, they have been put in right. <laughs> Over the top. Silicon everywhere, foot, silicon foam, packed all the screws, the formed thing. all the uh, sill up. Now it's time to get everything prepped, cleaned off, sills in. Right then guys, the job's finished, got the door in, got all the windows in, it's time to go. Oh, on a quick note, we've just been asked to price for the render as well, so that's going to be done. That guy's unfortunately blind, he always walked past here, he's living life to the best of his ability and that's a wake up call for a lot of people. You should think yourself lucky, that's my point. People are mourning all the time about everything, this, that and the other, and that guy is a machine. He's not mourning, is he? He's just getting on with it. I'm just loading stuff in the back of the van. Not the tidiest van. Recording on the fly. Now they can't go anywhere, can they? Not really. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Can't get out. Get under there, creep under your hole here. <laughs> That's our glass tied up. Just tied our frame at the back. He's been doing a good job of this. Oh, lovely job. Lovely. Here's our opening, guys. Cut the 
Silk. Porter, 18 Porter. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. That's grand, that is. So it is. So it is, Tony lad. Shout out to Tony Clark from Belfast. <laughs> My mate. My mate, Tony. <laughs> now, shoes and boots, cool, that jacket. Bruise up on the job already. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the sill's in now, we've got it all nice and level, we've packed it up, the brick went run down a little bit, how to do the base. So that's in nice and level now, we're going to get the doors in now, we'll wedge it up and then we'll start fixing it and forming it. What are you screw doing? in. Oh, to get? To get it out. Oh, crap out. It still didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, good question that Mal, Mal was asking, do I not put DPC underneath this sill? No. The answer is no, because it's that is PVC, that's a plastic damp course. No water can rise through that. But you could do if you wanted. They used to have to do that with the, because of the wood timber, didn't they? Yeah. What was that, it? That tip weren't very good, so I'll take Stu's advice and put a new nozzle on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Friday, Friday wisdom. Friday wisdom is Loads, loads of tea and bacon butties. <laughs> <laughs> you seal them corners. Yep. KC touch. Yep. Seal your corners in. Smeg master. Perfect lift lump. We've got it. We've got to fix it and form it, right? Now we normally form it first, just to get a bit of a hold on it. But the the, the people are saying you should fix it first before you form it. That's their way. Because the form can push it out, which is true, but when it's set, but I'm thinking no, because it's only held in with these four wedges. Right, if you start opening these doors, it's just gonna come flying out, isn't it? Because yeah. you need to open the yeah. doors to get it fixed. Form it. Yeah, you form it first. Just get a set. Yeah. Because as soon as you open them totally, doors. It's totally reinforced, so it's not going exactly. to There's massic pants on everybody. What do you reckon? No. That form is just going to hold it in for a little bit. We're not going to let it go off entirely. We're just going to let it go off a little bit so that then we can open the doors and fix it up. The, risk of being seen is the, right, the form's gone off now, so we're going to fix everything in. People have been asking about the fixings we're using, and these are just concrete fixings which just screw straight into the brick. 120s, 150s, you can get different size, you can get 50 mils. And you just use a six and a half mil bit. Bacon butties. Thanks, Kim. Your bacon butter. Oh, lovely. Thank you. as well all French door glass has to be toughened and there's a toughened stamp these are our flag hinges if you ever need to adjust them you unlock with this and then you move over with this positive and negative and then once you've got your desired setting you relock it into place this just brilliant brilliant piece of kit it just moves left and right and of course, when it's all rendered, they look even better. Well, 
there you have it guys, job done, that's Malk's French doors fitted now. Obviously we can't finish them off completely because they're coming back with their rendering and so on, so we've had to leave the tape on, can't seal them. So that's as much as we can do really, I know they're not the prettiest looking things at the moment, but when they're finished I'll come back and get another bit of footage of the doors for you. I'm going to come back anyway, it's nearly, it's nearly finished this job, these doors are in and the renderer can come and get all the rendering sorted now. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a like rating. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you in the next one, cheers. So let's not have any <laughs> body picking about the floors, they are going in, okay? Thank you.